Asbestos is being removed from the roof, and CCPS is to be worn on all fires at that address. Watch detail, Gov. Our second new appliance is being delivered today. When it arrives, get it tested, and then swap the gear over. Carry on, sir. Blue watch! Blue watch, Fair duties fall out. I'm in the boozer tonight. You know I don't go to the pub. Yeah, but it's a special occasion. We should all go. Why is that? Poison. His divorce came through. He won't want to do that. He doesn't. He wants to go and buy himself and watch the telly. So? Love him. Ah, let him buy a drink for a change. He's a free man at last. That's got to be worth celebrating. <laughs> what? Well, you should follow his example. Change your life. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. You think I need to change my life, do you? You know you do. Next door, six o'clock. Well, it's not before time. Oh, yeah? What's that? Sending down the new pump ladder. I could have done without driving around in this death trap for the last three months. Jeff. Well, you know what I mean. It's all very well replacing the windscreen, but you don't know how the interior workings have been affected. Well, I think we know how your interior workings have been affected. Meaning what? Meaning you're getting more obsessive than ever. Why do you keep mentioning the crash? I don't. Just came up in conversation because the new appliance is arriving. Anyway, I don't think we should try to forget these things. George and Skippy wouldn't want us to. Wouldn't they? Never heard of life goes on. We've had a terrible year. We can't pretend it didn't happen. Yeah. Well, you can ponder your anus horribilis if you want to. As far as I'm concerned, life's too short. Mind you, Bert, it was your idea to put up that memorial to John Hallam so we wouldn't forget him. Recall, that's an entirely different thing. Your Derek won't take note for an answer, will he? No, he won't. He's very persistent. He says, if I won't marry him till we know what's happened to Albie, then he'll go and find out. And what's he mean by that, then? He's flying off to Thailand. He says he's going to track him down and ask him if he's ever coming back. Blimey, he's serious. When if Alby says he ain't, you'll marry Derek. Well, uh, think about it. Oh, Max, you can't let him go for all that if you're not sure about him. I mean, he's taking a risk. You don't know what might happen to him. <laughs> Billy, he was a Royal Marine commando. Yeah, 30 years ago. He's a lady's hairdresser now, isn't he? Phil! It's all arranged. Be here in about an hour. We've just got to make sure Zorba and Doris Morris are out of the way. Ray, what are you up to now? Just clerical duties, Margaret. Nothing to concern you. Did you get those sesame seed buns I asked for? Yes, I did, love. I do them for Stand Easy. I saw them. What do you want sesame seed buns for? Well, we had them at Woodford. Yeah, well, you would do. It's all green belt. Probably had gin and tonics to go with them. No, we had tea, actually. Earl Grey, of course. Oh. Well, you're at Blackmore now, mate. We're strictly crusty baps. And the same tea the monkeys drink. Mug. I don't know, but I suppose...